What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Sen Hyperion, and we're back with another Halo 5 map feature. Today we're taking a look at Graveland by Tanix, and Tanix the Forger, not the strike boss from Destiny. This small map is inspired by Waterworks from Halo 2 and supports 1v1, 2v2, and 3v3 game modes, specifically for classic settings. If you don't have a game mode for classic settings already, I will link one below. Tanix has done a great job bringing the Halo 2 Forerunner geometry to Halo 5, and he says this map is inspired by Waterworks, and that's believable. This really does look like a different section of the cavern system Waterworks was set in. But what's super cool beyond that is that this is almost believable as a classic map. The layout is simplistic as one you would find in Halo 2, but still sports some fairly diverse and interesting gameplay. It almost does look and feel like it was cut content from Halo 2, and I would treat that as a positive for sure. The weapon set for the map is extremely classic as well, putting emphasis on H2BRs, carbines, and even an energy sword, making it so your precision game better be top if you want to outstrafe and outperform your enemies. With a carbine or a BR in your hands, you can really put pressure on most of the map from either red or blue tower, but you have to be wary of people challenging you from the upper platforms as well. And despite the fact that the map is rather small, I never felt pressured in my spawning or my travel at all. In fact, I was usually able to link up with my teammate or get some type of synergy going to where we could push back if we were at a loss. If you're the type of person that plays classic settings a lot in Halo 5, I'm sure you'll enjoy this map no doubt, and anybody should bookmark this map just to check it out because it's so cool. If you liked the video, be sure to drop a like, comment below, let the author know what you think about it, and if you haven't subscribed yet, you should, I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.